In this example, we will show how to read a PDF from a class path, simulating a read from a database or file system. While we use a PDF, you could substitute it for just about any file format, such as an image, zip file, jar, war, or any other binary format that you want to stream to a browser. Visiting a Spring Initializer website and selecting Web Project Dependency will create a Spring Boot Skeleton project. Opening the project in Eclipse, we will copy a sample PDF named PDF-Sample into a resource directory. Finally, creating a download PDF controller annotated by a REST controller, we will stub in a class where we want to map a request to. In the download PDF controller, we'll create a default request mapping for the application. The return type will be a response entity, an extension of HTTP entity that adds a HTTP status code, and will be of type input stream resource. Next, for demonstration purposes, we will fetch a file named pdf-sample.pdf from the class path by using class path resource. This could be substituted by reading a file from a network drive or retrieving it from a database. Once we have a hold of the file, we can use Response Entity Builder introduced in Spring 4.1 setting the length, content type, and the body of the response to the file. Let's go ahead and run their example and navigate to localhost 8080 to view the PDF. Oftentimes, when you are returning a document, you may want to prevent caching so the next time a request is made, it returns the most current version. Luckily, the response entity allows us to set the header on the response. We will create HTTP header objects setting a cache control, pragma, and expires property. In the event where you want to prevent caching across your entire application, you could set the response in either a filter or a handler interceptor. Thanks for joining today's Level Up. Have a great day.